What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi, that's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You're gonna ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hardworking Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. Okay, come through this way. Buongiorno, Vincenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny, this here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey. You just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Hey, genius! <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck, dear Papa Polly? You can't, can't, can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> We ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sh 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 show up, Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. But you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 rod, but it, it'll get you across the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. There's some lazy bastards. We put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Now let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. Look on these Ooh. faces. Crisis. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Hey, get away from the car! Jeez, that hurts. Just like that. God. Oh, come on, Tom. There's gonna be more of them. Use a mop, but let's see some flame. Take out a bottle. Light and throw. Yeah, Morello's crew would have heard that. Whole block heard that. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. 
How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you. You got a good car? I'm gonna know where you keep it. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! There's Don't let him get away! Drive! Come back! Oh, you bastards! Ah, oh, shit. We got cops. All cars, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and... We're good. Control. Let's head back and see the boss. Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead, and all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands, make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on the payroll because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. You abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook, but his daughter Sarah, Maron. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> But what did I know? You, Tommy? Come on, this steal gas yeah. tank. Get him back. Boss is waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks. And it's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. 
They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. Come on, Tete Tommy. Show me what you can do. You know, it, it, it takes time to pick a lot. Have a good day, for the fellas. Okay. There it is. Finally. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to beat information out of I gotta get you to a doctor! Ah, I can wait! Get Sam out of there! Okay. Okay, just hang on. on you, buddy. Christ. Come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabby to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck? Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street Taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Celieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Celieri made, Don Morello would turn 10. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy, he scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> 